Hi, I'm Barbara Rimkunis, and this is your Exeter History Minute. This year, 2017, we're remembering the United States' involvement in World War I. The war in Europe had begun in 1914, so for three years, people here were following the news and anticipating involvement. Oliver Moulton Chadwick wasn't born in Exeter, but his family was from here, and he attended Phillips Exeter Academy. He had strong ties to the town. He went on to graduate from Harvard and Harvard Law School and had a promising future. He was a natural athlete who liked to challenge himself. These are just a few of his awards from track and field at Harvard. When war broke out in Europe, Oliver Moulton Chadwick was 24 years old and eager to serve. He wanted to be a flyer in the new Air Corps and took training at the Curtis Flying School in Newport News, Virginia. He joined the National Guard to gain some military experience, serving on the Mexican border for four months. American neutrality, however, was keeping him from the battlefield. He tried to join up in Canada, but his American citizenship kept him from being accepted. There was still one other way Chadwick could get involved. The French Foreign Legion accepted men of all nationalities. Getting to France, however, was a problem, with wartime restrictions on travel. To avoid this, he obtained a passport that listed his reason for travel as student studying banking, even though he had no intention of studying banking. He and his father exchanged letters that clearly indicate that he was headed to France to join up. Arriving in January of 1917, he donated money to the French cause, probably to shore up his credentials. The aviation branch of the French Foreign Legion was glad to have him join. He began to train at various French airfields. By the time he had become a fully accomplished flyer in July, the United States had finally committed to join on the side of the Allies. Chadwick, however, was part of the Lafayette Escadrille, a branch of the French Air Corps made up of primarily American flyers. Like Chadwick, most of the men in the Corps were young, wealthy, and well-educated. He wrote home that their duties were to attack and defend, attack enemy machines and balloons, and defend their own, also defend our position from spying eyes. He was doing important work. But the lifespan of pilots in World War I tended to be short, averaging under 100 hours of flight time. The airplanes were lightweight and unreliable. Dogfights between pilots were common. On August 14th, just one month after completing training, Chadwick volunteered to fly a patrol. When his British comrades were threatened by German planes, he broke formation and started to go after them. He was shot down from behind and his plane plunged into no man's land below. His body was later, later discovered to have been hastily buried by the enemy, not so much out of respect, but because he was thoroughly searched for any intelligence information. He was just one month short of his 29th birthday. In 1928, his remains were moved to the Lafayette Escadrille Memorial. He may not have been born in Exeter, but Exeter's citizens counted him as one of their own. In 1922, this Daniel Chester French statue was erected in town to remember the eight men and one woman from Exeter who were lost in World War I. Let's be sure to also remember Oliver Moulton Chadwick. This Exeter History Minute has been generously sponsored by Commonwealth Dynamics. To find out more about Exeter's involvement in World War I, check the Exeter History portion of our website, www.exeterhistory.org.